Yeah, that looks really, dude. Man, I'd be tempted to just tack that piece off to use it separate. It's so cool, but... No, this would have to be part of the table if I did that. I've let my tools sit out and get weathered. This poor saw, was it like a four or five hundred dollar saw and I just let it sit out here and, you know, get damaged by the elements. My router table, I got it cleaned off. And this, my rusty table saw table. I feel really bad about letting this happen. But, let's sand it out a little bit and we can see if we can't just improve it. Yep, I've had problems. Problems with the blue tape. I just chisel that stuff off. In fact, I should have done this before I started sanding. Since I kind of forgot the blue tape was on there. But sander will take up a lot of chunks. piece maybe fill it with resin but I'd much rather use this for a neck because I think it's going to look beautiful so I'm just gonna hack it up make that part of it there we go and that's gonna be our neck once we straighten up this ungodly thing. And right now I'm just taking off the old hardware. This is off of a P base, an old Fender P base that has always been missing, at least as far as I can remember, one of the tuning pegs. And it's pretty beat up and at the very least it needs to be totally refurbished. Oh, I don't know. Interesting. Okay. So now we have this. Let me take off the little string stringer here. Perfect. And this is going to go right there. Like that. And I'm going to trace this puppy out. And uh, then try to get my bandsaw working. So I can make it happen.
worse, huh? That's generally in the realm of what we're looking for here. I think we can make that work. I'm not sure how far I want it to go back. So it looks like it wants to go right there, which means I'll need a stop here. So I think what I'll have to do is cut some random lengths of stop material. Hmm. Yeah, or I could just use self-control, but that's not always the best way. Well, let's try this out, see what we got. I did make a mistake going backwards, but I learned from it. tight neck joint it will be in the end but it's not it's gonna be lower it's still too high dude this is a fucking base this yeah is a full -on base. it's gonna be a base for sure Let me check this body out. so you ran this through a couple of times that this is all hand cleaned except these. Yeah, dude. 
these things get stuck though. That's beautiful. That's Koa? That's Koa, yeah. So I ripped down a few of those, and you're welcome to one too, because I have like basic string. for my first one. I'm just gonna stick with something basic. Or like dude. half a twelve string. Yeah. Six of the twelve strings go up, and six of them are on the side. I think the Koa is gonna make a great fretboard, though. Oh yeah, I really well, dude, you're do, welcome to one of these Because it's pretty, of course. This is a thin one. That's the finished one. one. No, this is just a piece of scrap. Like Just under seven there, so you're good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Center right. enough. I'll, I'll, I'll risk mine to do the sample run. Well, run them all. It's heavy shit. If it so. ends up fucking it up, I still have some really nice thinned out rosewood to make something like that. Oh, wait. I know what we did wrong. That's okay. It's throwing the board for me. Uh, it's. We never fucking planed it. Oh. <laughs> so it's still got bow. Alright. Pretty good. Good enough. <laughs> good enough for the planer to do the rest. No, no, totally. Um, so fret notch these first. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is, before I glue it on, I'm going to make a little... African uh, rosewood. Uh, it's Brazilian. It's, no, it's African. Brazilian. It said African on the sign, didn't it? No, it says Brazilian rosewood. Are you B sure? B -R okay, well I have my fretboard here. This is my Koa fretboard. And these are the rosewood. Which parts do I want? Now we gotta look for any cracks, any flaws. I'm gonna wanna get those out first. Ooh, there's some nice cracks. No, are those cracks? Yeah, they're slate cracks on that end. This end looks really good. So I think what I'll do is first, To square off these ends. I don't want to lose any material. That's a piece of wood. So then I'm going to clean that. Look, dude, it came right out of here just like this. I harvested so it sweet. like that. Is that that's a chunk of the stuff we got the other day? Yeah. Dope, Remember dude. I was going to make a table? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually sacrificed it because I saw this this oh, ribboning in here and I wanted to use it. I make a table out of right there. I know, I know. I want to get... Yeah, I'm going to use the rest of it too. I'm going to make another neck because I need to make a guitar just like you do. Or do you have this to be wrapped That's up? just a cover. Two and a half. So it gains three quarters of an inch. That's a lot. Well, shoot, once I get my template, I'm going to want to make extra copies of it. You're welcome to have a set of it, you know, if you want to try and build Hell yeah. It. Well, this here is a fretboard. Wow, shocking, huh? So it's a base fretboard from the Squire that I'm trying to replicate. And I've got the headstock over here to prove it. And uh, what I want to do is I want to transfer this onto this. Now the fretboard is curved. The frets are in the places they are. There's probably several ways to do this. In fact, if I really wanted to, I could probably clamp it down extremely hard here and uh, probably make impressions where I need them. I wonder if I could do that. I've never even thought about that. But maybe I should do this properly. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I got an idea. Okay. So we're gonna take this. Let's try this first. All right. So I have the existing neck. And I think if I want to transfer this, the best thing I could possibly do... Uh, you know, I've seen people do this with color. Some kind of a color that you rub on here on the fretboard itself, right on the frets, rather. Uh, oh, 
would that work? Okay, so let's try this first of all. I need a hammer. I'm not too concerned here, so. Does that work? It kind of works. Here's what I'll do. I'll put it right here like that. I'll line this thing up. Then I will do this. Watch. Ha ha! Ha ha! Look at that. Alright, that worked. So that right there is now where the bridge is. So I know what to do. I know. Right, here we go, watch. There we go. Okay. Gotta pull this down a little more. Oh, there we go. Alright. <laughs> now all I have to do is just trace that. So I'll take my clamp here. Fortunately, I have some experience with this kind of stuff, but... Good, 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 good. up my square. There we go. Make sure the square's tight. Alright, continue. Well, this is what we have so far. It's not by any means complete. It's got a lot of work to do. Uh, the body still has to be sanded down and planed. Uh, the neck is going to have this uh, pattern taken out of it. I've got the rosewood fretboard, which has been properly scored where the frets should go, and the truss rod channel. So once the truss rod comes, I have it ordered. We'll pop that in there, then we will assemble the fretboard, and we will get the rest of this built up. And um, I think it's going to be great. And thank you all for uh, watching my video. And uh, I appreciate you. And if you want to keep updated and see how this thing turns out, then hit subscribe and all that stuff. And uh, I'll be sure to post the final videos when I get around to it. Editing takes a while, and I'm a rookie at it. So hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you all later. Peace out. See you next time.
Thanks for coming to Carbo's channel, yo.